But all the scientists have to go on are fossil bones. What's more, the first T-Rex was only discovered about 100 years ago, and since then they've only found another 25 more skeletons. And here's the thing, not one of them is 100% complete. Even the very best five or six, and this one's pretty good, have got a few bits missing. You know, maybe the tip of the tail, or a toenail, or a tooth. But uh, he's had plastic surgery, so he's looking pretty good. What are you up to? So, uh, what can we tell by looking at this skeleton? Well, it's big. Ah, yeah, but how big? It's something like 40 feet long. Now, that's longer than a double-decker bus. Up to the hips, 12 feet. The head alone, 5 feet long. All of which confirms my theory that it is big. In fact, it's huge. But um, what about its finer faculties? Look at various holes in the skull. They should be able to tell us something about how it sees, how it hears, its sense of smell, and its brain, how it thinks. That is, if it thinks at all. By looking even closer at the skeleton, the scientists can see where the muscles and the tendons attached. They can even tell the texture of the skin by studying impressions left in the ancient rocks. So, using all the scientific evidence, we can now breathe life into our T-Rex. It's certain that T-Rex was absolutely enormous and pretty fearsome. In fact, a real bruiser. Nevertheless, was he really capable of overpowering the other big guy on the block? Triceratops. <laughs> 